Good morning, adventurers. From Texas. This is our first tarantula sighting, you guys. He's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> He's so big and furry and just cannot care that we are here. Oh my gosh! Yes, welcome to Texas, y'all. We're back at the mechanic. He is done with Clementine. She's purring like a little kitten over there. Do I say that too much? Purring like a kitten? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> but we have another little minor problem with another car that we completely customized. <laughs> the Suzuki Samurai. <laughs> Everything's actually been running great in here, but we had one little problem. I noticed a bit of oil dripping down beneath the bottom and I called the guy who did all this work and he said, it was likely this right here. This is the distributor housing, and this is a common spot for the gasket to kind of fail inside there. But our guy Rodney is on the case, and I gave him the number of Cody who put this engine in. So they're gonna talk amongst each other, figure out how to pop this thing off and fix it, and then it's gonna come back good as new, you guys. <laughs> it's a very minor problem, you know, it still runs just fine. But we got Clementine all fixed up, we're gonna get this fixed up, and then we aren't gonna have any more problems. This is right? the end of it, <laughs> the end of the problems. You know it's not gonna be. <laughs> Man, it's so weird driving Clementine after driving Ruby Suzuki all over the place. <laughs> I keep having to slow down and remind myself this is like five times the size of the Suzuki. And probably at least double the width, right? Yeah, and I also keep hitting, keep wanting to go for the clutch and to switch gears. So now I know how Alex and Emma feel going from driving manuals all the time to an automatic. <laughs> but she's driving great, you guys. Oh yeah. We're reunited once again with Clementine. She's back and healthy and happy. <laughs> Maybe this will be the final time we get reunited with her. Uh, and now we're stuck with her for a freaking year. <laughs> Except it won't be because our AC still isn't fixed, so we have to sort that eventually. Oh yeah, the AC in the front, not this AC up here. This one works. Yeah. If you guys missed our last video, we let the cat out of the bag that we are planning to hit all 50 states in 50 weeks mm -hmm. in Clementine. In that video, we asked you guys to give us some feedback on our routes and holy cow, did y'all come through. We might have gotten more comments on that video than ever before. Yeah, crazy. Funnily enough, the Minnesotans and Oregonians, is that what you call them? You guys had a lot of opinions. <laughs> well, mostly I feel like you thought that we were gonna skip your state. I assure you, we are not skipping any states. We're going to all 50, thus 50 states in 50 weeks. Our plan is to really like explore a bit in each state. So yeah. we don't wanna just touch the tip of all of them. Touch the tip? <laughs> Let's move on. Even if Clementine doesn't go in deep, Ruby will. Are these sexual innuendos on purpose? I never know with her. <laughs> One thing you guys gotta keep in mind is that we're gonna be towing Ruby behind mm -hmm. us. So even if we stop at the little corner of Minnesota or something, we can take Ruby all over the state. Yeah. You know, so we will see the states properly as much as we can. But you guys, the wheels are set in motion. We have an appointment with a guy just outside of Dallas who is gonna hook up the whole towing system. We're gonna have a kind of auxiliary braking system that actually brakes the tow car while the RV's braking, so it makes it much safer to drive. That is set for next week, so that means we have a little bit of time to kill, and we got a lot of little stuff to do still on the RV. Yes. Like we said, it's not 100% and never will be, but yeah. we're, we're chipping away at it, you know? Yeah, so that is the plan for this final week before we hit the road, just to get as many things done mm -hmm. as we possibly can, yeah. and we gotta remove into Clementine. Oh, geez. First thing on the agenda today, we have to get this screen door back on, baby. Let's do it. Well, we made an executive decision to go ahead and keep our old door. <laughs> if you guys remember, we actually built a new door, but ultimately we were not very happy with the aesthetic of it. 
No, it was really fun to do. We learned a lot. We could make it work, but I think we need a lot more time to get it to fit right. We probably need to paint it. So instead, we are just going to make some much needed improvements to our current door. We took off the old nasty gasket that was literally decaying and we got a new pretty one. Mm -hmm. We also got a new window. It has this lovely frosting, as you can see. And we also got a new frame, at least an exterior frame. They didn't have the cream interior frame, so we're using our old banana colored frame for now. But the outside's gonna look a lot better than it, it used to. so good. So since we had to use the backside of this window, this is actually the original backside where the screws go in, we decided to kind of restore it a bit. And uh, so we just sanded it down, scuffed it up. We're gonna put a nice primer on there. We're gonna put antique white, which pretty much matches everything else on the RV. It already almost looks brand new. We probably could have just painted the front one, but oh well, now it's brand new, so no big deal. And we don't have to paint it, so. But we do have to paint this. We have made quite a mess, <laughs> but that means we have also made quite some progress. We have a perfectly polished screen door that stays shut now. This little yeah. latch wasn't catching previously, so it would just swing open with the wind. You might also have noticed that we put this brand new gasket on the door, so that all looks just so much better than it did. Oh yeah, the old one was so faded and was literally like pulling to pieces, it was so gross. We also adjusted these little brackets and moved the whole door up by a quarter of an inch. So that means now it shuts like a dream. Ah, this is so huge for us because literally for the past two years to close this door, you used to have to use all of your might and shove it up into place and not anymore. Yeah. Now you can delicately close it. Ah! We also got our new little uh, window cover and our new window glass in. Yeah. Looks much nicer. We still have to clean the door off. We got it dirty in the process. We even replaced our little catch system here. The old one, as you can see, was very gross and gnarly. So this goes right into this little thingy over here, just like so. Then it stays open. Ah, and it closes. A door that doors, I love it. This is the worst part of the day though. You spend the whole day making a huge mess, making a ton of progress, and then you gotta clean it all up. Yeah, it's the worst. It's 7.30 now. We don't have any food in the house, so we still have to go to the store after this. We're gonna be eating at like midnight. Oh, you guys, look what just arrived for <laughs> us. I bet you'll never guess what this is. It's way lighter than I thought it was going to be. So you can just carry it. Oh, thanks a lot, sir. <laughs> that out holy cow Whoa. <laughs> it just instantly inflated <laughs> that's right y'all we got a brand new mattress uh, we actually haven't really been sleeping in the overhead bunk and part of the reason was that our previous mattress really just wasn't that comfortable if you guys remember we had a really hard time finding the right mattress that actually fit in the space that was light enough that was the right thickness we actually didn't end up finding a perfect mattress we bought one and we like hand cut it down to the right size this mattress is actually made by brooklyn bedding and we wanted to give them a huge thank you for partnering with us and supporting the channel. Yeah, they make RV specific mattresses so that you can choose the perfect thickness and shape for whatever strange nook you have in your RV. It's so much nicer than our last one. It's so much more squishy. It's like a real mattress. It's a real <laughs> mattress. It's not just a brick. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so comfortable. I may never leave this bed again. You know, you could come and work at the actual workstation. Hmm? Nah, I'm good. Do you at least want to sit here and watch the movie with me, baby? No, I'm okay up here. Dude, are you ever gonna get out of this friggin' bed? RVmattress.com is a Brooklyn bedding brand known for top of the line comfort and quality. Plus their mattresses are made right here in the good old US of A and they're shipped conveniently to you for free. Obviously a mattress is a huge commitment so they give you a 120 night sleep trial. If you don't like it, you get a full refund. You're a really good saleswoman. <laughs> you got me sold. <laughs> well, I'm sold. I mean, like, I know that we have this mattress, but 
I would want this mattress if we didn't have it. Yeah, we're actually really psyched about it. It's so nice. I'm so excited to sleep in here tonight. Just like this. This is how I'm going to sleep. Probably not with drool, but maybe. If you're in the market for a new bed, you can click the link down below, or you can go to rvmattress.com slash endless adventure, and you can get 20% off if you use the code, wait for it, endless, <laughs> endless adventure. adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Easy enough to remember, right? And then you can have so many wonderful sleep filled nights. a shoes off policy in the RV. So we thought we needed a little bench to sit on to take our shoes on and off. And this is what I came up with. And it's so much more adorable than I ever could have dreamed. Yeah, this is what the space was missing because we yeah. would always pile all of our shoes here and we didn't know what to do. Now you can pile your shoes in here, tuck it nice and neat under here. Yeah. You can sit on top, take them on and off. The moment of truth, does it bench? <laughs> Oh, I'm a little scared. Okay, so obviously we're gonna have to bracket it to the wall here. We haven't quite sorted that yet, but shoes coming off. I'm sitting on the bench. It's not breaking. Shoes in the basket, ready to live in the RV now. Nice job. Yeah, this was a fun, easy one. And you finally got a live edge piece. They're usually too heavy, so we went with the thinnest possible smallest piece. <laughs> yeah, but it looks so pretty. I love the color of this wood, it's almost like rainbow wood or something. And these are actually like termite bites in here, I think. This is a termite hole, but it's really cool. It gives it so much character and charm. In one of our previous videos, you guys saw me put this hose into this box, along with our freshwater hose. That's kind of a no-no because this can be kind of gross and contaminated. It's not black, it's only gray water, but it's not something you want near your drinking water hose. But to be honest with y'all, our plan was ultimately to put this somewhere else. We were trying to put it inside the bumper here, which is a common place to put it, but it doesn't really fit. So we came up with a plan B, this big old black tube. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what this is for, believe it or not. It's kind of this telescoping tube so you can make it longer or shorter if you need to. We don't need it to be long. That's what she said. But our idea is to mount this right here. Oopsie. How did I do this last time? I have to throw this out the window. But we plan to just mount this right here on the bumper so you kind of can't really notice it. Then you take this little lid off, and when you're done with this, you slide it right in here so it's got its own little home to live in. You f Wait, that goes there, right? I thought it went like that, and then it's this way first. Okay, then you lock it up like that and your hose stays far away from everything else that you don't want it to ever touch. Well y'all, we were making tons of progress, getting Clementine ready for the road, getting a bunch of final projects done, trying to plan our route that we were gonna take with Alex and Emma from the Travel Beans, and then we got a message from them. This message. A message that you never wanna get from yeah. a friend. That's right, the van that we went and helped them find and pick out burst into flames and burned down on the side of the road. Eric and I were out getting supplies for our final projects, and then we see this black cloud of smoke coming out of the woods in the distance. Yeah, and then I made the joke, oh, I hope that's not Frank. <laughs> Can you believe that I said that? And then 10 seconds later, they sent me this message and I was like, it's Frank. Luckily, the first thing they told me was we're safe, so yeah. I didn't have to worry about that. So if you guys haven't seen their video, they were able to document a lot of the experience. They had their phones. They both got out safely. Everything is okay, mm -hmm. except for Frank. Frank is not okay. He is dead and gone. But it's been an emotional roller coaster to say the least. Yeah. We were planning on doing this epic road trip with them. They were planning on doing an epic road trip. And now everything's kind of up in the air. <sighs> <laughs> it's time for a well-needed drink. Yes. <laughs> yeah, these guys have been kind enough to take us out to try and have some fun. Get our mind off things. Yeah. yeah. Wine's yeah. on us today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the abridged version is we're driving back to our Airbnb. I see smoke coming out the floor. Yell at Emma to pull over. We think it's coming out of the engine at this point. We just think the engine's 
had it. Even after having it at the mechanic for weeks. Weeks yeah. and weeks. And within about 60 seconds of getting out the van, it was an absolute inferno. Uh, Never seen anything like it before. It was absolutely wild. Yeah, and meanwhile, we were just like right around the corner from where it was happening. Mm -hmm. And we had no idea until they text us. We're like, oh, shoot, we're in their traffic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holy cow. These were those traffic. guys <laughs> holding everyone up. Yeah. It was Within outrageous. about 10, 15, 20 minutes, the whole thing had been absolutely destroyed. The uh, fire department had come, put it out, and yeah. we were left with the shell. I felt like I was in a movie or something. We just felt so bad for them. We had planned such an epic trip. Oh. They were just about to move into Frank the next day. <laughs> yeah. Thank God they didn't. Yes. So if there's only one silver lining is that you guys really only lost Frank. Yeah. None of your personal belongings. Yep. You didn't lose your life. Yeah, we're just happy nice. about that. Yeah. That's <laughs> the most important thing. Yeah, no like, I, like, we weren't even a little bit hurt. Like we were completely unscathed. Like I couldn't feel more lucky about the whole situation. Although we're absolutely heartbroken that we can't go on this trip with these guys. Our aim is to go back home, regroup, reset, you know, get mentally sound, and then come back out and do it all over again. Yes. And then hopefully come and meet these guys wherever oh, they are on the road. Yeah. yeah. We would love it, but we definitely understand. Yes. If you, you have a change of heart yeah. once you get over there. If you're a little traumatized <laughs> yeah. by the whole experience. Uh, yeah. See, I feel like it's that whole like get back on the horse thing. I yeah. feel like I just want to... We have a camper van back in the UK that we used to explore Europe, so we're going to go back and hopefully sooner rather than later go and stay in it and sort of get used to van life again well i guess our plans have changed but we're still going to go out and have fun in frank's memory yes, yes. Thank so you to, to frank i guess to frank. Frank. <laughs> went out with a bang yeah. <laughs> you guys it's finally happening we're saying goodbye to the beans just like that it's over I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. This is not the way we were going. It was nice. It's it's supposed not, to be yeah. Like this. Cut so short. The memories that we planned. Yeah. yeah. But there's just that much more that we're gonna have to get into when you guys come back. Yeah. Next time. All good. right. Now get on out of here, you two. We'll see you soon. Everybody. Beat it. <laughs> better come back. And there they go. Off into the sunset. <laughs> so weird. This is definitely not at all how I expected any of this to go. Yep. <laughs> I thought we would all be gearing up and on the road right now. Instead, we're sending them back off to England. Well, that was a crazy few weeks we had with Alex and Emma. Not the way we saw it going down. No, it was so much fun until it wasn't. <laughs> so we're gonna continue as planned. And like we said, hopefully meet up with them later in the trip, meet up with some other people. Positive vibes, that's yeah. the main thing. It's, it's gonna be smooth sailing from here on out. For those of you wondering, don't worry, Alex and Emma had their van completely insured. So they are working with their insurance company to get everything sorted. But we have been chatting with them and they are doing okay. They're back home safe and sound. Um, mentally, they still have a bit of a way to go. It was a pretty horrific incident and it's gonna take them some time to get over that, but yeah, yeah. they'll get there hopefully. Sorry guys. Ugh. Frank was a pretty old vehicle. Clementine, as you know, is even older. So obviously a lot of you guys are wondering, what are you gonna do? Have you gotten Clementine looked at? What's your fire contingency plan? Um, this is something that's always been top of mind for us. So you guys know a lot of our uh, engine has already been rebuilt. So we've had mechanics in the underbelly of this thing looking at all of it. Um, that being said, there are still some old components on this vehicle. So for that reason, just for peace of mind, we're going to take it to someone and specifically have them inspect the fuel lines. Um, just look at all the seals and stuff just to make sure nothing's going to be dripping on anything hot, all that stuff, just to ease our mind. Because obviously seeing Frank go up in flames kind of scared the hell out of us knowing that that could happen to Clementine. Yeah. We do have a smoke detector. We have several fire extinguishers. We actually just got recommended this awesome product that's like a ball that when it senses fire, it explodes with like fire extinguishing material so we're gonna get a few of those put them in key spots like in the electrical maybe underneath the stove stuff like that because mm -hmm. we want to keep clementine on the road and safe for a long time and keep us safe so obviously this whole ordeal has kind of made us rearrange our plans a little bit it slowed us down a bit but i think we've gotten pretty much every project done now and other than the last mechanical and engine checks that we want to get we're ready. We're ready to hit the road. I can't wait. We're going to see so much. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. It's just going to be the two of us, Clementine and little Ruby Suzuki. Yeah, our little family. That's not how I thought that parenthood would go for me. All right. Goodbye, adventures. We'll see you on the road.